Hello there, my name is Peter Watson and I'm here to give you a quick guide to the most useful functions of Watson's Daily. Now, um, this is going to be very useful for you if you are an old hand at Watson's Daily or if you are a very, very new hand at Watson's Daily because there are tons of old and new functions that I know that a lot of you are not aware of. So, um, this video is, um, is trying to give you a, a, a very quick overview of some of the more useful functions on Watson's Daily. Anyway, without further ado, here we go. So this is the main page of Watson's Daily on the on the website. So if you just actually scroll down here, um, we can now see if you can go, base if you click on anywhere in here or on Read Now or View Latest, you will see the uh, latest uh, Watson's Daily. Up here, you will see the summary. And if you want to go to an individual into a particular section, you just click on it and it takes you there. Now, um, one thing I wanted to show you on here is the new function of the directory. Now, this is something that's going to grow day by day. Um, and if you see a hyperlink on a company name, you could just um, hover on it or click on it, depending on which device you're accessing, accessing from. And then it will tell you what that company does. Very, very useful for if you don't know loads of different companies. Um, you can also go, um, if you want to know more, you can read more. And then um, you will see on here that the it will give you all of that, uh, all of that stuff that you need to know um, about that particular company to actually understand it and how it uh, and how it works. Now there are some things on here which maybe look slightly random. They are not random because nothing I do in Watson's Daily is random. It's all about trying to help you to understand this stuff as qu as quickly and as efficiently as possible. So for instance, on here you've got competitors and fun facts. Now with regard to competitors um, it's actually um, pretty difficult to find this information in a lot of cases because if you just google it you will get the wrong stuff I don't know why it's probably something to do with the algorithm I really don't know why but anyway um, so a lot of thought goes into that um, the other thing as well is you've got fun facts and brands again this maybe looks looks um, a bit uh, maybe a bit random or whatever this is actually a very important part because what I'm trying to do here is to give you a hook to help you to remember how that cut you know about that company and how it works so that's um, a, a quick thing on that uh, and we'll just go back along here and we'll go up and I will show you the next thing which is on publications so if you go on here you go on publications so on publications you will notice there's there's the weekly monthly and yearly we'll just go into the weekly for the purposes of this video you just click on weekly this is, um, for those of you who don't know, um, this is a very, very useful um, uh, report which um, summarises the week, um, funnily enough. And um, so if we actually just sort of scroll down here, you can see that it's very short. Uh, and the idea is that you can catch up on a week's worth of news in sort of five to ten minutes or, or something of that ilk. Um, so let's. Uh, it's very useful for you to catch up if you've missed stuff or it's a very good, um, uh, another good way of actually um, reinforcing the information that you know because it just um, you can just breeze through it and it will solidify the information into your brain. So uh, let's say, for instance, you've missed something um, and... And um, you want to, let's say, FTSE 100 puts in best performance. You just click on Tuesday. And then you will see on here, you'll see that story. FTSE has best month for 30 years. So basically what that does is it, that takes you to the correct section in the correct edition of Watson's Daily. Um, so next thing, let's go back up here. And I want to show you the archive function. So you go on to archive. Um, so this will show you the, all of the um, um, old, you know, all of the editions of Watson's Daily. But what you can use here is the search function, which is extremely useful. So you go in here, and you will find that all you need to do is you need to um, type in a company name um, in order to, uh, let's say you're looking up Arcadia, for instance. And then you will see all the editions where I mention Arcadia. So let's go to one part here. So let's go to let's go to that one. And then we'll look through here and you'll see retail news, take a look, blah blah blah, and then Arcadia. So we'll go on to that section and um, and we will find um, so let's scroll down a bit. Um, we will find a bit on um, 
Arcadia, which is just there. So there you go. That is the search function uh, and a couple of the other functions as well. Um, I hope that that is useful for you um, and it is something that will um, help you to get the most out of Watson's Daily. Thank you for your time. I hope this was useful and uh, maybe speak to you um, again sometime soon. Many thanks.